Okay, guys, so before I had the brightness at 30. Now I have it at 65. We can see underwater now. That's pretty good. Because, you know, being able to see underwater is good. And now you can see just as much as I can. I think they put like four notes down here, yes? No? Yeah, they did, yeah, they did, yeah, they did. Uh, yeah, that's all I did. Yeah, I think I should make the brightness go down a teeny little bit, considering how... I mean, you can see things, but the things you could already see are quite, uh... Really, really bright. So I'm gonna take the brightness back down to 30. Yeah, you can tell it's darker, but you can see the silhouette of Banjo, and that's good enough. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going the wrong way right now. No, I'm not. All right, all right, we've gotten all we need to get in here. And this video might be cut off as well, I'm not sure. Because I had two gigabytes of space when I was... Or I had two gigabytes of space a minute ago. And so I'm not exactly sure if that means I can record a ten minute video or... Okay, I still need more grenade eggs. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, get out. What? There. I got more fire eggs again. Okay, so what you want to do here is, uh... There's a caveman. Inside of, uh... Here. Yeah, behind the waterfall, actually. We just haven't seen him. But, yeah, he's right here. And we're gonna jump just because why not. Ugh. Slow down. I'll go shape of the pair. I don't know what these guys have against pears. But it's something and I fell down. And I'm almost dead. And I hear Jinjo. I'm gonna do that because why not? Also, I need to find the train switch because oh, I think it's over here. Yeah, it's over here. Yes, this train switch is important because without it, we can't get Scrut back to her home. And that's a Minjo right there. There's a rock nut in the uh, the train station. That's good to remember. We're actually gonna go there right now. We actually have to go to Witchy World first, though. Witchy World. Yeah, I gotta start saying that, right? But, uh, the train station is right across from the family cave, I think. I think. But uh, I do want to see if I can find uh, the Trouble Clef, which is in this uh, boulder right here. And then, um, you get a good look at that. You can't really see it very good now. But, uh, it's a, it's a very inappropriate, uh, picture, I guess. And so what we're gonna do is, you know, we're gonna go onto it. And it's, it, there's Mumbo score right there. There's a warp pad. And then, believe it or not, we actually want to use Wumba first. Because, uh... Well, we're gonna do something with Mumbo to Wumba. And if you do the thing with Mumbo first, I don't know if you screw yourself out of, like, getting, getting a Jiggy. Or what. Because, uh, what you do, uh, this... This world's, uh, magic spell is transformation, or not, is, uh, is enlargement, 
which uh, which makes the transformation bigger. Uh, but what I will do, or no, yeah, I shouldn't do that. No, I won't do that. Figure out what I'm doing, man. Uh, I guess I should teleport. It's called one buzz. We actually haven't been inside the mountain yet, which is kind of funny. And then over here, and we have this, and we can't go up that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be Wumba first. Which, uh, we're gonna want to do because you might actually screw yourself out of giving, getting, a, I think a Jiggy or two, and then a Cheeto page. Which is, uh, crazy. So, so yes. But yes, as you see, we are Baby T-Rex. Yeah, we only use the control stick to move, which is underwhelming. I mean, not underwhelming compared to Mumbo's old, uh, magic, but underwhelming to the new magic. But what you can do is, uh, come over here. It's like, whoa, vicious T-Rex. You're not v vicious, you don't know how to roar. Nope. Well, it's easy. Just press B once, just tap B to do a short roar, and then press and hold B for tap B for that roar. No! Tap B for that. Press and hold B for that. I want to see if I can find where you learn to do something uh, before I go and do it because I know what the code to do it is. Um, so it's basically a series of short and long roars the right way. And then that's how you open these actually. You have to be the baby T-Rex. And uh, it's in here, actually, so that's very fortunate. And then this. Roar, 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 roar. Then the good string prize will be yours. So what I'm using to remember this is what NCS did, which is, uh, well, not that. But, uh, one, two, and four are short roars, and then three, five, and six are long roars. And this is not where I thought it would have spit me out. This kind of isn't good. Oh, crap. Oh, there's the other honeycomb piece. Uh, you can get that by either flying or using the speed shoes to run on water again. You haven't been over here, dude. Serious. See, the good thing is, uh, when you're a T-Rex, you do not get harmed, uh, from the from dinosaurs which is good because believe me if you did then uh yeah that'd, that'd be a teeny little problem we're not gonna go in that other room quite yet because uh we can't do anything in there or we can but not right now so what you gotta do is you gotta roar it's like Oh, 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 that's feeble roar, me not scared. Yeah, that kind of hints to something. We can't do something with that yet, but we will be able to later. Hmm, I wonder what it could be. Uh, we're gonna go this way because... I hear a Jinjo. Oh, whoa, I jumped a lot farther than I thought I would. But yes, there is Terry's nest over there. And I'm really hoping I didn't go the wrong way. And I swear, they made those uh, holes so the T Rex, the baby T Rex, could jump over it. Well, here's the other Globo. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I knew it was there. I just didn't know how I could get over there. And then that's where one of the rock nuts is, but we can't do anything about that yet. 
think it's where one of the rock nuts is. At least also, I don't think this is where we want to be going. So, yeah. The video might get cut off. Uh, around the 10 minute mark, which is now. But I'm not sure. And where we wanted to go was right next to Wumba's hut. Feel a teeny bit silly for walking all the way around the world to find it, even though we did get ourselves uh, the code and the uh, yeah. These are not so much tricky jumps to make, but they're aggravating because. Do it wrong. Uh, if you do it wrong, you'll basically slide down to the floor, which isn't good. But you know, now we've done that, and uh, believe it or not, I think that's all you can do with uh, this form. At the moment, at least. Yeah, we will be, we will turn into a Wumba, or we will turn into this form again. Not at the moment, though. We will have to come back to this pool of water, though. Because there's a Jinjo, and then there's a, a Honeycomb piece. And then there is also, um, something that'll be used to get Jiggy a Jiggy for later. And then, as you can see, we can go through that, uh, stuff crap again. We can go through that crap without getting, taking damage. Which is very nice, because taking damage is not good. And then, um, what I'm gonna do for the end of, I guess, this session is, uh, you know, turn back into Banjo-Kazooie and then we'll end the episode off. Because I'm amazed I could record all of this without getting cut off, so, yeah. I'm not sure if I actually showed, have showed the game over screen yet. So I'm gonna show it now, why not? So what you do is you go down to save and quit, and I think this is how you save. And then what it does is it shows game over. And then, uh, you know, it, it does that. And then it boots you off to the title screen. So next time on more Let's Play Banjo-Tooie, we will get farther in Cherry Dactyl, and see you then. Goodbye.